This is Dennis McMahon, and welcome to Positively Vermont. And we're recording this on the first day of September, September 1, uh, right here in beautiful Vermont. And we're very honored to have with us today an old friend uh, uh, from the world of media and the world of food and entertainment and everything else and all that goes good with it. And that's uh, Charlie Papillo. And Charlie Papillo is going to tell us about a very unique service uh, that he's performing right now throughout this, the Green Mountain State uh, called Travels with Charlie. But first of all, Charlie, welcome to Positively Vermont. Well, first, Dennis, let me say, you know, what an honor this is, you know, and it's, it's kind of interesting because it's, it's kind of like, you know, you and I are coming full circle now, you know, man, when I think about how my radio career you know, 20 plus years ago with Ernie Farrar in the morning, then later joined by Lisa Nagel. She was with us for 10 years, great addition of the show. But you were there in the early days and Ernie and I uh, termed you as the, the executive producer of the Charlie and Ernie show. We used to get these emails and we didn't even know who you were. You know, we'd get these emails from this Dennis McMahon Esquire and, and he'd have show ideas and show, you know, contacts, people to contact all over the world and and you were just a great friend and uh you know it was a lot of fun doing that show and certainly a lot of fun um you know having you be part of that show so to come around now and have you doing the interviewing yeah. interviewing me today it's it's a real honor dennis and i'm glad that you know things are going well for you with positively vermont that's a great show as well so i'm i'm, I'm honored and happy to be here with you today well thanks very much and why don't you just start off uh, to tell uh, our viewers a little bit about yourself, uh, right up, sure. to, uh, you know, right up to uh, your uh, with WVMT, and and right after that, give us a little biography. Yeah, absolutely. And I also want to you know apologize because you know the rules of uh, engagement here with uh, you know uh, with being a guest on the show. I should be bringing you some graft, but <laughs> with 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 the zoom thing we're not able to do that so you know the graft rules have have been uh, expelled for today <laughs> we ate a lot of donuts in that studio <laughs> plenty of graft that came in so dennis uh, you know my career started uh, you know many many years ago i i i knew like ernie farrar i knew when i was 10 years old what i wanted to do i wanted to be in radio and i didn't get into radio until my early 40s, I guess, mid 40s. Uh, I started off uh, before I got into radio. I was a mobile DJ for about 10 or 15 years. I owned my own mobile DJ company for, for you know, a few of those last few uh, 15 years doing that. So that, you know, my love was always playing music and being in front of people. And, and then an opportunity came up at WVMT. And that opportunity was they needed an afternoon drive guy to do uh, music, you know, it was an oldie station at the time. And I said, great, you know, let me apply. And I, and, and I got in, you know, I, I, I was just so happy that, and thrilled, it was like, wow, I'm, I'm finally gonna be playing music and I'm gonna be on the radio, it's what I always wanted to do. Two years after I was hired, as most AM stations uh, had changed in the market, they said, you know, nobody listens to music in mono. It, we're gonna go to talk. And I said, well, that was a short career. I'm gonna be you know, shipping out here. And they said, well, we're gonna do a live morning show. We need a host for that. Let's do a national search. And Ernie Farrar, God love him. He said, well, what are you doing a national search for? You got Charlie Papilla right here. You know, Ernie and I would do about an hour together every morning. It was sort of, you know, he, he went on till 10. But I would go in at nine to start you know, pulling music. This is back in the day for all us old timers. You know, we used to pull the carts. You had to have your music oh, yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. So, so I would go in and I'd be pulling my carts and Ernie be playing, you know, doing his last hour of his show. He, he hosted that with Mark Esberg in the morning and then his last hour was by himself. And, and Ernie would like say something and then he'd open up the mic and throw me in, you know? And we just, like Ernie says, there was this chemistry and we just, we just hit it off. It just, so he suggested to management that they give me a, a chance. So we went on the air for two weeks and uh, tried it. And man, 20 some odd years later, a lot of ups and downs. But you know, when we retired, 
uh, we were on top. We were beating some FM stations. Uh, and that was really, when you think about it, an AM doing talk in a, in a small market like Burlington, Vermont. Uh, we were that we had great guests on, you know, lieutenant, well, you're breaking up, the mayor, the guitarist. In the we we have them come in the studio and 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 play, you know, play a riff, and people had to name it, and they you know they'd win a prize from Papa Frank's and Manuski or something, so. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, fast forward uh, after that 20 years, uh, I uh, also had started a, a pizza business, as you know, and I got many plugs and certainly got a good lift from that uh, radio program, me mentioning pizzapapillo.com. I got to give a blatant plug, then, as you know, that's what Absolutely. I do. Absolutely. Pizzapapillo.com, available for weddings, rehearsal dinners, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, uh, and check it out on the web. Uh, that became very successful and reached a point where I said, you know, I think I'm going to just kind of pull back from radio and just do that. And uh, I had retired from radio in December of 2018. In January of 2019, I get a phone call from a friend of ours, Brad Furlan. Mm -hmm. Brad was, you know Brad very well. Yes. And Brad Brad would, uh, like you, would occasionally ring me up at the radio station and say, hey, I got a great idea for a guest or somebody's in town. They're looking for some media exposure. Would you be happy to, to give them the exposure? And, and I, I did. Uh, so, so Brad and I go way back as, as well. And, and Brad said, I got an idea for a project. I want to know if you're interested. Let's sit down and talk. And I said, well, you know, uh, at first I was like, you know, Brad, I'm like, I'm just, I'm ready to just like, you know, sit it out here. I, I don't want to, you know, be in media anymore or whatever. So he said, well, let's talk. And we did, we sat down, we talked and he said, it's a, it's a video project. You'd be filming videos and interviewing people much like you do now, but it would be different because obviously it's video. And I thought about it and I said, you know what? I mean, there was a point in my life when I wanted to do TV as well. So I said, this is as close as I'm going to get. I, you know, I, I mean, this is the trifecta. It's food, it's radio, and it's, it's video now. You know, it's TV, basically. So I, I'm in. Let's do it. And here we are, 30-something episodes later, Travels with Charlie. We just shot two yesterday. I think I put on about... I must have driven about six hours yesterday. We had, we we did two shoots, and man, we've been all over the state. I'm telling you, I, I'm going to places I didn't. I, I was born in Burlington. I'm going to places I didn't even know existed, and beautiful places too. That's a we fantastic get there. And it's like, place. I mean, I mean, just any time I get out of, uh, it's just huge. It really is huge. It, it is. It is. And 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 the one thing that I find, and we've had governor after governor, you know, pound on the desk and saying we're going to have broadband. We're going to have cell coverage in Vermont. Well, please get it because it, you don't have to go very far. And I find out all of a sudden your Google map on your phone just isn't working. I know. I've been down in places on White River and Lake Bomacine and down in Middlebury, even down in Manchester. They're up. Yeah. It uh, goes off. But that's yeah. you're, on, you're on your own. You need the old paper map to, to get you there. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, Brad's a great friend, and uh, he really knows his stuff. And uh, I also understand you have a director, uh, Asher. Yeah, Asher Crisp is our director. So there's, there's the three of us. There's uh, Asher Crisp, the director. Brad Furlan is the executive producer. And they kind of, uh, you know, come up with the ideas for the shoots and where we're going to go. And I chime in a little bit. Uh, uh, and then we, we go off. We've got a great camera crew. We're working with Mondo Media. They, uh, you know, uh, something I'm just amazed with. I mean, the professionalism of these guys. They show up. They've got the GoPro. They've got the, the steady cam. You know, all the, all the great stuff. Uh, some we've had to shoot uh, via Zoom. But, uh, you know, 90% of them have all been uh, with the camera crew out. We just resumed going back out again. So we're having a great time doing that. And we're discussing real issues that affect Vermonters. And I, I guess, you, you know, the, 
the one way of putting it, you know, when I try to sell it to a guest and I call them up and they, and they go, oh, well, you know, I don't want to do a debate. I don't want to, it's not a debate. You know, we may get two people from opposite sides of an issue, but it's never been a point. And you know, uh, Dennis, from my radio show, I mean, I, I was never one that would want to, you know, you know, attack people and, you know, you know, and get them to yell and scream. That's, you know, that's not what I did. It was always that's about fair. Yeah. It was yeah. always about entertaining. Let's make it entertaining and people will listen. That's why I love this project because as we call it, it's, it's edutainment. We educate and we entertain at the same time. You know, there's this whole feeling that if you don't keep it entertaining, people are going to tune out. So we do some wacky things. Um, you know, I've worn a plastic bag and jumped in the lake in the Lake Elmore to uh, talk about the, the plastic bag ban. Uh, I've milked the cow. Uh, um, you name it. I, I, you know, and, and Asher, uh, who says, uh, this, you know, we're still going to be, you know, he wants me to go in a hot air balloon and ride a ski lift. So who knows what, you know, what could happen next. But that's the whole point. We keep it interesting. It's not a debate. And we want to make sure that each guest shows their best self in a number of legislators, leaders uh, in the community, business owners, uh, and they've all been treated fairly. And as they look at it, uh, they see that people enjoy it. Obviously, they do. Dennis, I'm, I'm amazed every time I, I take a look at the number of views that we've gotten. And I think the top one, we're anywhere in, in the 20, 30,000 range of views, which is simply amazing. We did one with a governor. We did it in a film noir, which, you know, Asher could explain that more. He's a movie well, I, I know that and format, yeah. You know what it is. So black and white, you know, I'm wearing the, you know, the trench coat and the fedora. We shot it in black and white and the governor went along with us. It, it, it was, you know, we shot it and, and 51,000 views last time I looked, people have seen that. And by the way, you can see us on Facebook, you can see us on YouTube, it's Travels with Charlie. You have to spell it with an I-E, and you might get some John Steinbeck stuff in there, but uh, I think he copyrighted it first, but <laughs> that's great. we took over. So what's the guiding principles? What is the, uh, the philosophy behind this? Well, uh, like I said, we, we want to talk about issues that are really facing Vermonters. Uh, you know, the name of the show, it's Travels with Charlie, Vermont Politics in Real Life. And that's exactly what it is. And as opposed to doing a show in a studio, no disrespect to you, Dennis, but you do. We, we find that it's, whoops, oh, we're going sideways here. <laughs> outside technical stuff. All right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're in that the, was delivered, you know, the, right? We, we put that in the delivery, right? <laughs> Exactly. Right. <laughs> the backyard studio of uh, Pillow Industries here. You, you might, the garbage truck just went by a moment ago. Um, uh, where I lost my train of thought here. You're talking about the guiding, <laughs> the guiding philosophy behind this. The guiding yeah. So, so, you know, what we try to do is, is present, uh, you know, two different sides to the story, let people make up their own mind on, on, uh, on it. Uh, and, and as I mentioned, you know, do it, do it in an entertaining way. Um, uh, and I think we've done that, uh, as a, attested to the, you know, the number of people that we've had on the show and the issues that we've discussed. And these are things that are really affecting Vermonters. When you think about, you know, the recent compost, uh, the, the discussion and the debate on, on minimum wage, we did that with a, with a business owner, a restaurant owner, the, the marijuana law, which, you know, the pot bill. Uh, and that discussion, which was the first video that we shot, uh, Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman, who's now a candidate for governor, we had him on as a guest. And, and to take the guest out of their comfort zone, where, you know, typically they're doing that interview and they're sitting down on the couch and there's a fern over here and there's a, there's a, a, a you know, a curtain behind them. We shot that one. It was with Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman and retired judge Ben Joseph. Mm -hmm. Ben, ben is pretty strict. I mean, Ben doesn't even think alcohol should be legal to be honest. I'm serious. Uh, and you can watch that. It's our first episode. It's still on, uh, on, on Facebook. And we shot it in a bar. We went to Rossi's Lakeshore Tavern. Thank you, Jamie Rossi. Another plug <laughs> uh, to Rossi's Lakeshore Tavern in Colchester. And we shot pool. We shot pool, we shot darts, and we played video games 
all while we're having this discussion. And it, it kept things moving. And as you've actually found out that uh, David's a pretty good pool player. He says, I haven't played in 20 years. And, you know, he, he won pool. He beat Ben on, at the pool. Uh, and then he went on to do the video game. And it's like, wow, you're even good at this. So uh, um, you find out a lot of things. And, and I think people kind of, they, they, you know, not that we're trying to have a gotcha moment, but people are relaxed. Guests are relaxed because we're doing it in an atmosphere where it's fun. And it's not, we're not trying to have a gotcha moment. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of your other favorite episodes that you've had. Well, uh, I got to say, I think my favorite episode probably is the one in Lake Elmore. I, um, this was, we did, I did it with uh, Chris Bray and Rob Roper, mm -hmm. uh, Senator Bray, Rob Roper from the Ethan Allen Institute. And, and Rob and Chris don't see eye to eye on the plastic band bill. And which is great. And they both agreed to, to come on and, and do the do the episode. So, you know, again, uh, kudos to to Brad and Asher coming up with these ideas that we're going to have the, you know, the monster from the lake, the plastic bag monster. Oh and that and that's me. I mean, we had a GoPro under the water. They and, and, and Dennis, you know, when I was in radio, it was one take and one take only. I'm finding out with, with video, it's like, okay, we gotta do that again at a different angle or we didn't like the way you did it. I'm actually underwater holding my breath and they're telling me stay under because we want the water smooth and then we want you to come out of the water. I'm, I'm at the, the general store in, in Elmore <laughs> and, and I, I walk into the store and there's the owner of the store who recently passed away, uh, God bless him. And thank, thanks to him for letting us do this. Uh, and there he is in the store, and I walk in, and he goes, wait a minute, didn't you hear about the band? <laughs> you can't wear plastic bags. <laughs> and then we had this great discussion from that point on, and it was, it was a lot of fun doing. There's another episode that uh, comes to mind, and this is one of my, my granddaughter, who she's only four years old, and she watches the episodes because she likes to see the hijinks. You don't see him. We shot this at Northwest Vermont. We had um, uh, an ambulance on call that day and i'm in the ambulance laying on the gurney and i'm out and and the two drivers the ambulance the emts what a great job they did they they they've got the paddles out and they're going bring them back bring them back and and they're not really hitting me but i'm you know like, i'm jumping up i'm jumping up and i don't come to and finally one of them says i got it i know what we need to do and he goes to the cabinet and he opens it up and he pulls a pizza out. Oh my God. <laughs> and he puts the pizza under my nose. And I wake up and I look into the camera and I go, welcome to another episode of Travels with Charlie, Vermont politics and real life. No, was <laughs> it scripted? Was that scripted or was that uh, impromptu? It's, it's, it's scripted. I mean, we don't have a, I don't have lines. I just know the general, okay, this is what we're going to do. And this is how we're going to do it. We did a couple of takes for that. That one went well. And, and then it's, it's on to the show. Uh, before we go any further, I've got to mention uh, a big thanks, as you know, on the Charlie and Ernie show on WVMT, my good friend, Billy Bratcher of the Starline Rhythm Boys. Oh, yeah. He wrote the Charlie and Ernie theme song. Right. And every morning we started that show off. You know, Billy would do gigs with his band, the Starline Rhythm Boys, and people would ask him, hey, play the Charlie and Ernie song. And he said, we, we only played it once. We, I said, you better learn how to do it when you go out. And they did. They played a couple of times when they were out. So when we started doing this series, you know, two years ago now, there was some discussion about, we need a theme song. And as you know, you know, playing music, if you don't own it, there's copyright and fees and stuff that you got to pay. So I said, well, my good friend, Billy Bratcher wrote a theme song for the Charlie and Ernie show. Maybe I can get him to do one for our show. And man, Billy is a talented guy. Uh, and I'm not saying, I think he wrote it in about 20 minutes. He sends me off this thing. He says, here you go. You know, he's playing it. What do you think? I said, sounds great. All right, I'll get some lyrics. And next thing you know, it's the travels with Charlie. And I end my show saying, I'll see you in my travels. And the name of the song is, I'll, you know, I'll see you in my travels. 
he did a great job with it. I want to thank Billy for, for doing that. So, you know, you'll hear the music and then the, and then we get right into the show and the show starts and it, you'll hear the music at the end of the show as well. That's great. Have you had any backfires or anything or uh, maybe uh, episodes where people didn't expect it? I wouldn't say backfires. I think the one episode that we shot and, you know, I'm not afraid to point out when somebody doesn't want to come on the show um, because I think that we treat people fairly. We give you an opportunity to express your point of view. And if you're, well, especially, and I'll, I'll mention it. I mean, it's Perry Freeman, city councilor from Burlington, Vermont. When Perry had called for uh, disarming police officers, uh, I thought that that was, I brought it up to Brad Nasher. I said, I think we need to discuss this a little bit further. So the obvious thing to do would be to get Perry on along with a member from law enforcement. And I, emailed, I phoned, uh, I, I tried it every way to get in touch with Perry and not even a response. So I said, well, I think we need to do the show anyway. So I went to a couple of my friends in law enforcement, um, Jojo Leahy, who's retired from the Vermont State Police. Jojo said I'd be happy to do it. And Jen Morriston. Jen served in Colchester and in Burlington as a chief of police. And she said that she'd be happy to do it. So we had a great discussion with that. It seemed uh, kind of unfair that Perry wasn't there, but as I pointed out, we gave you an opportunity. You could have been here. You didn't want to be here. Uh, and no disrespect to police. As, as everyone knows, I'm a great supporter of the police and uh, I have many friends and, uh, that are involved and still involved in the police departments. I said, what do you think guys? Can we shoot it at a donut shop? <laughs> and they didn't flinch. They said, absolutely, let's do it. So when I said, you got, oh, you can, you can tape it here. And we did. We, we taped it in the, in the quality bake shop. Uh, and, and we ate donuts and drank coffee while we had a discussion about disarming police. But it's a great episode. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen it, you should really watch it. I mean, to listen to two members of law enforcement, one, Jojo, who was actually shot, um, I mean, he's lucky to be alive. Uh, so to hear his story uh, and to get a personal touch of what it's like to be a police officer, I, I think sometimes people just take them for granted. Uh, I know there's a real, uh, what's happening now across the country to me is just, uh, it's, it's disgusting. I can't stand it, the way that all police officers are being being uh, defamed uh, and and being uh, scrutinized uh, to to put on that badge and to put on your weapon every day and go outside to to, to say goodbye to your partner, uh, husband, wife, whatever, whomever, uh, as you leave the house and 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 may not come home. Uh, that's that's. I think we take that uh, pretty lightly, and we shouldn't. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're ready to put their lives on the line for you. Who are you going to call at two in the morning if you're defunding the police department? But that's for another day. I won't get on that today or use your time for that today, Dennis. Well, let me ask you, September 1, we're, we're, we got a, a few months left in uh, 2020, been a tumultuous year. Tell us, uh, if, if you wouldn't mind, what you plan uh, for the rest of the year, maybe some of your uh, episodes. Well, um, I never really know, you know, I never, you know, we talk uh, about some of the things that we might like to do and, and uh, a lot of it, I think, depends on what's happening in Vermont. Uh, so we just kind of wait and see, as you know, the legislative session, this is an unusual one. I mean, they're back in session again. We've got some budget shortfalls that we've uh, got to cover. Uh, there's some things that we've already discussed. We discussed the pension plan. We had uh, uh, um, Wolf. Uh, man, I, I just what the heck? I want to say Alex Wolf uh, uh, and and uh, Dave Coates. You know, discussing the uh, the pension plan uh, and the the shortfalls that that has. So uh, there's a lot of things going on that still haven't been resolved. That still need to be be brought out. So, and a lot of that has to do with what's going on in the legislature, but we'll, we'll see what some of the future shows may be. And as I mentioned, uh, you know, Asher still got this idea of getting me on a, uh, a chairlift <laughs> on a ski slope. Uh, 
I don't ski. I'm like one of the only Vermonters that doesn't ski. I don't ski. Uh, and maybe in a hot air balloon. Who knows? That would be fantastic. Let me ask you this. How far, uh, just give us some locations where we have uh, only a few minutes left, but where you've been throughout the state, just some of the, the physical places. Wow. I've been to, uh, I've been to West Glover. We went to Newberry recently, uh, Rutland. Uh, I've done a, a, a few things here in Chittenden County. We've been in Williston. We, one of, that was one of the wee episodes that we've, uh, we've shot there at a restaurant. I've uh, been in St. Albans. Um, man, just all over the place. And again, as I mentioned, some of these places that I have never been before. And I'm always just impressed when you get there. And it's, it, it's a small town. And it's like, you know, a nice green. And there's the center of town. And uh, just real community feel. The Civil War Memorial. There's a lot of those around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Just amazing that the history alone that you can get just by traveling. You know, just even yeah. reading the monuments. You know, just yeah. alone. Yeah, we've shot in Battery Park, as a matter of fact. And again, it's certainly a number of monuments uh, there as well. That was the one episode where um, I took it upon myself to actually light that cannon that many of you see. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, uh, I think I hit Champ. <laughs> you you need to see that episode, and, and that's one where you'll actually see Brad Furlan, um, who is, I think that's his acting debut, and he, he did a great job. We should get an Oscar for that. <laughs> that's great. I mean, that's fantastic. And uh, just give us, a, we have a, a minute or so to wrap up, just to give yeah. it your overall impressions. Uh, you know, what, what you got personally out of this, your feelings for the people and, and the state and, and the future. Yeah, so... I think the one thing that comes out from, you know, doing these videos is the, the opportunity for people of differing points of view to sit down together, have a civil conversation, have fun doing it, and to, to come away with, well, you know what? I mean, in many instances, people are like, you know, that person on that side, he's a bad guy. He is a good guy. There's no good. There's no bad. You can have your own opinions. The fact that we can come together and have a discussion and do it civilly, in my opinion, is, is great. I think we're doing, we're doing great things, and it's a great service for people to, to, to see both sides in a, of an issue being presented, presented fairly, and you can make up your own mind on it. We're not making up any minds for anybody. I never did, I never did that. I, I, you know, I'd give my opinion uh, when I was in radio. Uh, I don't give my opinion as much doing this. I try to stay kind of in the middle and let uh, both sides give their opinions, but you can you can make your own opinion from it. That's great. And uh, what if people want to get in touch with you? How would they get in touch with you? Well, uh, the best way, I guess, is to go on uh, Facebook, Travels with Charlie. You can leave a comment there, and we'd uh, be happy to to you know look for suggestions about places that you'd like to see us shoot, or topics that you'd like to see us do, or even guests that you'd love to to have 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 us do. That's great. Well, it's been a really wonderful talking to you, and it sounds like a very exciting project. And uh, I, I want to thank Brad for uh, advising me of it and uh, getting you here on Positively Vermont. Well, Dennis, thanks to you for, for having me, and, and thanks for what you do. You know, Positively Vermont, again, that's another uh, something that uh, Vermonters and, and folks here in Chittenden County are 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 lucky to lucky to have you're on channel 17 and and Chittenden County people can can see that and uh, hopefully we can get this video out uh, through some other aspects as well through our uh, network so other people can see it as well I really appreciate having you having you having me on today Dennis that's great well great seeing you Charlie and uh, thanks for appearing on Positively Vermont uh, this is Dennis McMahon my guest has been Charlie Papillo talking about his show, Travels with Charlie. Thank you for watching.